Hey folks, how y'all doing? Welcome back to Old Man in the Land of Grills. And folks, we got a box. Oh, I love it when you get a box. And it says Inkbird on it, and it's got some sort of contraption in it. And you're wondering, Tom, what the heck you got there? Well, folks, let's open it up, and I'll show you what we got there. I got it out of the box. You see, it's made by a company called Inkbird, and it is, that's what it is. Uh, this is kind of like a stoker unit, folks. Uh, barbecue control for like uh, uh, your Kamados, uh, and are actually for like uh, Weber Kettle. Uh, and I have wanted to get one of these for quite some time now, and but they're very, very expensive. And this one is very, very affordable. And when I saw it on Amazon, I said, ah, gotta have it. Um, a lot of these different units, uh, Barbecue Guru is one of them, and there's uh, Fireboard's another one. Some of these suckers are over 300 bucks a piece, and I just, I'm not going to be using it all the time, but I wanted it. And um, this one, well, I'll tell you what, you want to see what it was? How much it costs? Let's go take a look at it on, on Amazon. All right, so there, there it is on Amazon. It's 200 bucks, but there was a $40 discount, and uh, I got it for like... 150 after tax and everything like that and like I said a lot of the competitors for this and I don't know how good this works You know, it's supposedly got Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Yeah, I always get a kick when they say the Bluetooth is 164 feet uh, It's not 165. It's not 160 but 164 feet There's an app you can download and what it is folks if you're still asking hang on let's get it over here Take a look at it. All right, so what it is it's, there's a fan in there and it's totally adjustable and <laughs> it's got a hose excuse me it's got a hose, and the hose goes in, uh, doing this for the first time. Is there a way of doing it? It doesn't, yeah, goes on like that. And then you got the end of the hose, and you've got a bunch of probes, and you've got these stainless steel plates. So they got one that fits, and this will fit my Vision ceramic grill, I'm pretty sure. And this is the one that I'm gonna try fitting in the, uh, s and kettle. Remember the s and kettle, it's got a smoke hole on the bottom that's made just for this. And that's what got me uh, all excited was that, hey, there's, uh, I, you know, once when I got that grill, I was like, hey, you can finally get, you're going to wonder how it works. There's a power cord and then there's a bunch of probes, a nice carrying case too. So you've got the probe, you, this thing's actually got PID in it and you hook this one up with a probe in it. And then, or um, well, the probe is in it. And you put, and that gives the temperature reading in the grill back to this thing. And then you got one also for your meat. You got two for your meat. And what it does is then, uh, it turns this thing on and off. So you shut your bottom vent totally off. Leave your vent, top vent open a little bit. And then this thing will blow air to get your charcoal going. It'll, and it's supposedly it's variable speed too. So, you know, we're gonna, figure out see if we can figure out how this works because there is really nothing to it and uh there's i kind of cheated and looked at the instructions last night and there ain't much to them uh, it spends the majority of time trying to tell you how to use the app so boy oh boy that's going to be a challenge so i tell you what let's get rolling into this all right so there's a setup if you're using it on a ceramic grill it's going to be similar on any of them uh this is obviously my visions you've got uh, the high heat uh, tube there obviously you want to keep it away from i i think it's not high heat as it can stand withstand high heat, but you know, in this case it'll work. Uh, then you got your blower right there with the Wi-Fi and all the control in there. Uh, you've got two meat probes, and then you've got your internal probe which senses the temperature inside, and that's what adjusts that. And you can set the temps. Um, Twelve month warranty, as opposed to one year. What can it work on? It can work on the big green egg. Kamado Joe Weber Primo Vision Grill and Acorn Kamado. Let's uh, take. A, it doesn't say that it'll work on the SNS, but I have a feeling it will. So let's take a look if you were to set it up on the, on the SNS. All right, so that's how I would kind of set it up on the SNS. Remember, the SNS has a smoke hole. Uh, it was just a tad bit short, uh, small. I had to take a Dremel tool and just grind off a little bit. Uh, not much. It was really really close. So David Parrish, if you're watching this, uh, I don't know what the other units all have. This apparently is one inch, and you can see they give you two. They get one that fits the fits the Kamado, and then they have one you can use on, on your kettle grill. And uh, I believe the hose is far enough away, but you can make adjustments, put it on the other side. I've got it hanging there. 
And then on the inside, you see we took advantage of the probe port to put our probes in. You got the temp probe right there, and you do have two meat probes. So that's the setup. Can you do this in a Weber kettle? Well, sure, why not? You could, but you gotta drill a hole. And, uh, you know, you're saying, well, why doesn't Weber do that? Why doesn't even Weber have probe ports? And, you know, the reason they don't have a smoke hole is because they don't make one of these stoker units. But they make, you know, the I grill, me grill, you grill. They, they make all that stuff, and you would think they put a probe part in, but uh, not yet. I, I hope they listen to some of this stuff, because I think some of their viewers, and maybe even including myself, once in a while, <laughs> that's a good idea. But uh, that would be the setup on a kettle grill, and that would be the setup on a Kamado. So let's plug it in, and here comes the scary part, Tom. Uh, here comes the you know, real scary part, Tom. Tom playing with electronics. So let, stay tuned for that frustration. All right, like I said, electronics is really a uh, challenge for me, but it's just, uh, I've got pairing uh, success. Uh, I've got it turned on and I'm following the instructions. Um, keep on going. All right, like these days, everything is over the phone. You can see it's telling me that there's probes not connected. So I gotta get, I think at least one meat probe connected, hang on. So it's just a matter of playing with it. You can actually calibrate the thing right here on one of the screens. You just keep going through screens here and uh, I'm, I'm figuring it out, but so keep wondering watch. what this middle one is. That's a graph. I didn't realize it either. And, you know, it's just telling me there's there's no data data yet, but you can graph your cooks. Pretty cool. All right, still playing around. Uh, if you go to the second probe, which is your meat probe, and uh, just click on, oh, temp down here. And then it got your rare, medium rare, and then we're cooking beef, and it's got veal and lamb and pork, chicken, turkey, fish, Hamburger, barbecue smoke, hot smoke, cold smoke, and manual. So let's say if we're doing beef and you want medium rare, and it's going to set you for uh, 130. And you can see it right there. Huh? <laughs> cool. All right, there's how I'm going to do my setup on the SNS. Uh, see, we've got to connect it to the, to the smoke hole down there. I've got plenty of clearance here. Remember, this is on the cool side of the grill anyway. Uh, so those of you, I know a lot of people are going to say the hose is just going to burn. I, I really don't think it will. Uh, th there are some high limits for operating, and it does it goes along the lines where these probes can, like, handle over 570, I think it's 572 degrees for an extended period of time, and they recommend on low smoke. You can go for a long time. Uh, they say normal operating is up to 400 and I think 50 degrees. So this is how I'm gonna run it. You can see I've got my two magnets there and they're just hooked in right there. And uh, that's not going anywhere. Also, this is not waterproof. So, you know, if it's gonna rain or snow or something like that, cover it in, just take a, put a baggie over it and uh, zip tie it right there. And, and maybe in a case like that, I would put it more on the vertical so the whole thing isn't getting uh, Hit by any rain or snow, but uh, so get the got just uh, about 30 briquettes in there and just get them fired up and see what this thing does. All right, I'm running from the app. Uh, this is truly what this thing has been for. I run from the app, got it set at 225. You can see we're coming up the temp here. Take a look at the grill. There's our setup, and like I said, we just got it on bottom vent, it's closed on the S nets, and we're just using the smoke hole. With that, and you can see we got a little smoke coming out of the pull port. That's okay, and then obviously out of the top, our um, thermal works. It says uh, 170, and uh, we're coming up to temp uh, 154 there on the uh, on the ink bird 155. But uh, keep on going. All right, folks, you can see uh, almost two hours. I went for a five mile walk. I checked it every mile. I'm about two two and a half miles out. I go and. It worked just fantastic. 226, we're set at 225. The smoke from uh, <laughs> the Thermal Works agree is almost dead on. And so does the lid temp. Uh, I've got some of those uh, skinless brats from Iowa called Keeping Hours. I know, oh man, look at that. So we're going to take those off. Those are looking muddy done. And look at how much charcoal is left. Oh, amazing. So this thing really, really, really works, folks. And I hope you enjoy. We'll do one more uh, little segment looking at it again. And uh, that's about it.
All right, folks, there it is. Uh, am I shocked? Hell yeah. I had no idea that this thing was going to do what it's done. Uh, on Amazon for $199, 200 bucks, uh, I got they had an online coupon uh, on Amazon that took 40 bucks off. This is September of 2020. I don't know how long that's going to be, but if you're watching this and you always want to pick up one of these, like, like I said, I'm not going to use this every time I barbecue, but I did certainly want one of these, but I wasn't willing to pay what the... Uh, the barbecue guru folks want and the thermal works folks wants and the fireboard people want for theirs uh it come with two probes actually three probes total two two meat probes and then uh, another probe to do the ambient temperature it's pid it's got a nice fan uh the the only drawback is it's not weatherproof so you know we'll have to work on something to uh put it in because this is definitely something in the winter time or when it's raining that I'm going to want to use the, on those days where you say, oh, it's just too crappy out to do charcoal today. This will get you through it. Tom Horseman of YouTube, folks. I hope you enjoyed this. Please subscribe. Leave a comment. Thumbs up. And as always, Inkbird, man. It's pretty cool.